Hi everybody, today is July 8th, 2013. Toxic radiation in groundwater at Fukushima plant, Chepco. Toxic radioactive substances have once again been detected in groundwater at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant, as Japan's operator said on Sunday. The latest in a series of incidents at the tsunami battered complex. Tokyo Electric Power Company, Chepco, said tests show that trinium and radioactive isotope of hydrogen used in glow-in-the-dark watches was present at levels 10 times the permitted rate. For tests on July 5th, we detected a record 600,000 becquerels per liter of trinium, 10 times higher than the government guideline of 60,000 becquerels per liter, Chepco said in a statement, and they raised the level. We continue efforts to prevent further expansion of contamination by construction works and will strengthen monitoring of pollution comprehensively, it said. The new reading came after TEPCO said in late June that it had detected the highly toxic strontium-90, a byproduct of nuclear fission that can cause bone cancer if ingested at levels 30 times the permitted rate. At the time, it had detected the trinium around 8 times the allowed level, or 500,000 becquerels per liter. The substances which were released by the meltdowns of the reactors at the plant in the aftermath of a huge tsunami of March 2011 were not absorbed by soil and have made their way into the underground water. Subsoil waters usually flow out to the sea, meaning these two substances could normally make their way into the ocean, possibly affecting marine life and ultimately impacting humans who eat sea creatures, sea fish, algae, etc. However, a TEPCO official said last month that seawater data showed no abnormal rise in the levels of either substance as the company believed the groundwater was largely contained by concrete foundations and steel sheets. Right. The revelations are the latest in a growing catalog of mishaps at the crippled plant. More than two years after the worst nuclear disaster the world has seen in a generation, now they're actually admitting that it's worse than Chernobyl. TEPCO said last week that it would ask Japan's nuclear watchdog for the green light to refire two of the seven units at the world's biggest nuclear plant at Indigata Prefecture, a move rebuked by local leaders. Tens of thousands of people were forced from their homes by the threat of radiation after the tsunami and Fukushima disaster, with some still unable to return. You notice they keep forgetting to mention the earthquake? Although the nuclear accident is not officially recorded, as having directly killed anyone. The natural disaster claimed more than 18,000 lives and was one of Japan's worst ever peacetime tragedies. And of course, they gotta throw that in after the bombing during World War II. All right, well, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.